Uh, the John Ensign scandal, it seems, is just getting started. If Republican senators try to ignore this the way they've tried to ignore David Vitter after his prostitution problem, does that mean that the Democrats can pass any old gay rights legislation they want without fear of family values moralizing from the wide stance side of the aisle? Joining us now is Anna Marie Cox, national correspondent for Air America Radio and contributor to Playboy magazine. Hi, Anna Marie. Nice to see you. Good to see you, Rachel. Um, Senator Ensign has resigned his leadership job in the Senate, but he has not resigned from the actual Senate yet. Do you think that he will? No, I don't. Um, uh, I think also, I, I'm not sure if he should resign over the affair. Um, however, this favoritism is kind of an issue. And, you know, there's a word for when you pay the people you sleep with. I'm trying to think of what it is. But anyway, maybe David Vitter can help David us out Vitter. later. It's yeah, I know. It's weird. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, if he's not going to step down from the Senate, I mean, most Republican senators aren't commenting on uh, on this at all. A few Republican senators are saying positive things about him. They both happen to be his roommates. Uh, Tom Coburn <laughs> said he's a bright young man and lots of people Who make mistakes. Who knows what he brought home to the apartment, but anyway, yeah. go ahead. Uh, Jim DeMint said he's a great leader and he hopes Ensign will stay in the Senate a long time. Is that just roommate privilege? Like you just don't talk smack about the people who you share a chore wheel with or are, they, are people really going to support him? <laughs> Well, uh, you and I have talked before about how the, the, the Senate is a very exclusive club, and once you're in, it's really hard to get kicked out of it. And I think that's one of the things you're seeing here. Um, and also, Rachel, I have to say, I mean, you were making the point about um, whether or not they would, the Family Values Coalition would have a hard time making making a stance, wide or not, um, on that issue, now having had some, some fairly prominent people uh, embroiled in these uh, extramarital affairs. I have to say, I think that people who are against marriage equality and against um, repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell have have a very um, tin ear for hypocrisy, or else they wouldn't have those feelings at all. Now, it'd be one thing, and I think this would be a really kind of amazing and amusing thing for, for us, if Ensign could prove that it was gays getting married that caused him to have the affair. Oh, that's brilliant. Like, his marriage was diluted, and therefore it was so. Was it was like everything was going great, and then the gays started to marry. And all of a sudden, you know, the lady looked really good, and he started paying her twice as much. Was, you understand. You understand? <laughs> I would love to see him try to pull that off. I would absolutely love that. But okay, well, let, let's get to the issue, though, of the of, of the money in this case. If the Republican right. Party put Ensign's mistress's son on the payroll, if he doubled his mistress's <laughs> salary paid by campaign funds while she was sleeping with him, this is such a bigger scandal than Larry Craig. I don't see how they can avoid turning on him if it involves that literally Republican Party money. I think they're going to have to at least do an investigation. I mean, I think this does look very, very poor. And again, I, I think Americans are, to their credit, pretty live and let live when it comes to, to people's personal lives and to what goes on in the bedroom. That's why most Americans are for repealing Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and a lot of Americans are for marriage equality. Um, but when you start to pay the people that you're sleeping with, that's a problem. And when you start to use government money or sort of uh, taxpayer money, at least, the people who are trying to support a political cause to do that kind of thing, that's something I think we can all get upset about, even if we're not upset about the affair itself. I mean, that, that is is really problematic. I think the affair itself is utterly unnewsworthy, except for yes. the fact that he has been advancing his political career on the backs of calling for other people to resign who do exactly the same thing. There is one piece resign. of news news that's, that's newsworthy about that affair, which is that some Republican in the country got someone to sleep with him, <laughs> which I think for a lot of Republicans, considering the state of the party right now, is probably really good news. I'm just going to leave that exactly where it lies. Anna Marie Cox, national correspondent for Air America Radio, contributor to Playboy magazine. It is always a pleasure and an implicit threat to have you here. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. <laughs>